In this vlog, pag-usapan natin guys yung mga bagay na dapat mong tandaan kung ikaw ay subject for secondary inspection sa Philippines Immigration. Alam ko guys na ang dami nyo na rin kwentong naririnig, mga nakakatakot na kwento and experience when it comes to Philippines Immigration and sobrang excited mo at the end of Loaded ka pala. And this kind of story I know is making you also afraid, natatakot ka na rin. Ayan, naharapin ang Philippines immigration but I'm sorry to tell you guys, there's no other way to board your flight if hindi ka dumaan sa Philippines immigration and your passport doesn't have stamp. Yung mga babanggitin ko guys, automatic they will be subjected for secondary inspection. Passenger that doesn't have any financial capability escorted or accompanied by a foreign national who is not related to you. So, hindi kayo magkadugo, wala kayong relationship, but magkasama kayong magta-travel. So, in that case, magtududas immigration, ano ang gagawin yung dalawa sa isang bansa na kayo lang without any kind of relationship. If you are a minor, Traveling alone without consent of your parents or your guardian. Kung ikaw ay kasal sa isang foreigner and first time mo magbiyahe papunta sa ibang bansa to reunited with your husband. Sometimes nagdududa ang immigration if tutuo ba yung kasal ninyo. Mostly this time. Um, now, uso yung mga online marriage. Ayun, yung hindi pa nagmi-meet but kinasal na through online marriage. So, when it comes to immigration, wala silang masyadong may pakitang proof that their relationship is existing. So, they are subjected for secondary inspection. A partner of foreign national who intends to go abroad to meet or to marry their fiancé. An individual traveling to countries with existing travel plan. At kung ikaw ay paulit-ulit na nagbibiyahe papunta sa isang bansa. So magtatakang immigration, bakit kakabalik mo palang this day? Tomorrow, gusto mo ulit bumalik doon sa bansa na yun. So maybe... You are under um human trafficking or ginagamit ka ng ibang lahi for illegal business. So they will subject you for second screening. So kung isa ka guys sa makakaranas ng second inspection or second screening of documents sa Philippines immigration means 50% you might be offloaded or not. So, in this case, you need to remember something or you need to think for your next step. And guys, pag sinabi ng immigration officer that you are offloaded and you cannot take your flight, this is the very important things that you should do. So, know the ground for offloading or know the reason why you are offloaded. Kasi guys, if you are not informed and hindi mo alam yung susunod na gagawin mo paulit-ulit, every time na magta-travel ka, you are in the second ins inspection kasi yung record mo hindi siya clear. So, naka-record yan guys sa immigration if one time you are offloaded or not. Bakit ba guys, importante yung malaman natin yung reason ng ating offloading scenario? Because there are certain case na hindi pwedeng i-clear yung record. For example, if napatunayan ng Philippines Immigration that you are part of human trafficking, then I'm sorry for you guys, but hindi maki-clear yung record nyo and for that, you need to do another action before ka makapag-travel ulit. Until you have those record, hindi ka pwedeng lumabas ng bansa. So, if you are not aware of your reason, ayan, in, ah, ano-ano ka guys, um, 
aanga-anga ka guys. <laughs> Ayan, napamali si si officer maglagay ng grounds mo and hindi mo din ininform yung sarili mo na bigla ka na lang na ang nakalagay sa papers mo or sa record mo is human trafficking even though it is not. Always be active. So guys, pag nasa immigration ka or nasa secondary inspection ka para kang nasa korte. Ayun. Aalamin at aalamin nila lahat sa'yo. Ayan. All the information in your documents and some background about your personal life. Ang gan. Masatisfied sila on how you answer their questions and how you present your self. Keep on watching guys because papunta pa lang tayo sa exciting part. How to avoid anything that could make you subject for secondary inspection. Number one, ready your primary document. So, lagi kong sinasabi sa blog ko, whatever you pass in the embassy during your visa application, dapat lahat meron kayong photo copy. Here are the three primary documents na laging hinahanap ng immigration. It is your passport, valid visa, and your return ticket. Remember guys, don't make or don't submit fake return tickets. So, ang nangyayari kasi guys, sometimes, ayan, may mga tinatawag tayong dummy ticket which is ginagamit natin sa visa application. Guys, when it comes to visa application, alam ng embassy na bakit tayo mag-risk magbayad ng mahal sa airlines if we don't know na magkakaroon tayo ng visa or not. But in the Philippines immigration, you already have your visa, so bakit hindi totoo yung plane ticket mo? So, hindi na pwedeng yung dummy ticket ulit ang ipipresent nyo sa immigration. Take note, ayan, ang mga flight ticket may mga barcode. Isang lang sa machine makikita if your plane ticket is fake or not. So, ayan guys, iwasan yung mag-submit ng dummy ticket sa Philippines immigration. Number two, bring your supporting documents. For tourists, ayan, so hinahanap nila yung hotel accommodation and travel itinerary proving that you are indeed there for vacation purposes. Financial capacity to travel. So kung ikaw ay employed, wag mong kakalimutan dalhin yung company ID mo and certificate of employment. One time, Ayan, na, nakapag-travel ako guys na hinanap nila yung aking company ID and certificate of employment. And I have luck, I pre prepared also na i-present ko siya and okay yung lahat. So kung ang financial capability mo guys ay manggagaling sa bank account mo, ayan, hindi naman pwede na sasabihin mo sa immigration officer, ay sandali, itcheck ko yung balance ng account ko sa ATM machine. So, guys, hindi. So, you need to bring your certificate of bank account. Ayan, hinihingi yan sa bank of proven na meron kang pera sa bank account mo. During your visa application, nag-show money ka sa embassy, please wag mong withdrawin and Till makaalis ka ng bansa. Sometimes immigration are asking you how much money do you have in your bank account. And pag winedro mo yan, at the moment na yan ang natapat sa'yo, wala kang maipakitang proof of cap um, capability of loaded ka. Because how can you finance your travel if wala ka kahit any amount of money in your bank account? You can either say how much cash money do you have in your yeah, in your wallet or you can present your debit or credit card. For those without capacity to travel, so means you are unemployed, you don't have properties or either business, ayan. So you have your um sponsor, someone sponsor your 
script and make sure that you have your original copy of affidavit of support in original form hindi yung xerox ayon ng immigration yung xerox so kung ikaw ay pupunta sa Schengen ayan you can submit or you can present your obligation paper so five times ako pumunta sa any Schengen area, ayan, wala akong affidavit of support, ang pre-present ko is yung obligation paper na galing sa sponsor ko. And, tinanggap naman ng immigration, I'm not, I don't get offloaded. Ayan, so, pwede nyo yun ipakita. And, of course, guys, to show that you have relationship with your sponsor, you need to present also some kind of proof of relationship. Ayan, pictures, email, or chats. So, that's why, ayan, nabanggit ko din dati sa vlog ko that print your picture together. Ma, um, if your sponsor is your boyfriend or fiancé, I print your picture together that you are yan, yung mas sweet kayo guys nag-holding hands or nag-best of best so so don't show pictures in the immigration together with your friends a group of friends so dapat kayong dalawa lang in that picture so sa mga Filipina na may mga ka-relationship na mga foreigner and first time mong pumunta ng ibang pansa to meet him or to get married if wala kang CFO because ito ay mandatory offloaded ka. So it doesn't matter guys if you have visa type C or D, tourist or visit visa, mandatory if you have foreigner, fiancé, boyfriend, CFO is needed. So sino-sino nga ba guys yung kailangan kumuha ng CFO? So I have this vlog, ayan masasagot ng vlog na yan yung tanong nyo and what is the process, what are the documents, the latest documents needed and in this vlog naman guys, gagayad ka nyan step by step throughout your registration and telecounseling to get your CFO certificate. So panoorin yung dalawang vlog na yan guys, that would be a big help for you to get your CFO certificate. And kung ikaw naman guys ay papunta sa isang high alert countries, kung papunta ka in that kind of um, um, country, of course, automatic tatanungin ka ng immigration or mapupunta ka sa second screening of documents. So you need to be firm with your answer. And for minors naman to travel, it's either consent from the parents, and pag ang kasama naman is sindi relatives, or ayan, first degree relatives, and you need to have um, clearance or certification from DSWD that you are the guardian of that um, child. So that would be number three, be ready for anything. So immigration officers also have rights na hulughugin yung cellphone nyo. In case they have found some evidence that you might be at risk. Number four guys, huwag kang mahihiyang sumagot. If yung question is little bit offended, guys, kapalan mo yung mukha mo, kalimutan mo yung hiya mo, kasi ang importante, masagot mo sila honestly, firmly. But guys, huwag ka magsisinungaling. Ayan, isipin mo na lang at the end of the day, sa dinami-dami ng tinanong nila, ng interview nila, hindi nila mamememorize yung sagot mo. And number five, guys, don't forget to keep your answer short and straight to the point and to smile. Minsan dyan na huli ng immigration yung mga nagsisinungaling. If masyado nang paikot-ikot yung sagot, so guys, kung ano ang tanong, yun din ang sagot. To those who know na may kulang kang documents and itatry mong bumiyahe, baka makalusot ka ng immigration. 
For example, if hindi ka nakakuha ng CFO, so ginawal ka na sa oras, wala kang CFO, itatry mo, baka makalusot, alam mo na na you will be subjected to secondary inspection. Dapat maaga kang mag-check in and pumunta sa immigration para in case na dumaan ka sa second screening, you have time to explain well yourself, hindi ka mag Um, hindi ka kakabahan, ayan, hindi ka may stress, and baka makalusot ka. Tandaan nyo lang guys, be firm with your answer, ready your documents, and be honest. Kasi guys, alam natin na nakakatakot ma-offload whether you are an experienced traveler or first time traveler, yun yung ayaw natin mangyari na hindi tayo makakalusot sa Philippines immigration. Good luck, hayam mo yan, and thank you for watching!